Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. I'm here with Coach Carey and the rest of our coaching team and we're going to go over this week's Tabata workout for you. So for this workout, we're going to have four different stations, two exercises at each station. It's 20 seconds of hard work, 10 seconds to switch. You're going to do four sets of each exercise and we're going to rotate around the room one time and we'll have a group finisher at the end. You ready, Carey? Okay, so we're going to start station one. We're starting those ropes and we're going to start with those rope slams. So use those hips. Get those, uh, use those hips to get those with that rope up nice and high, and then sit that butt back and slam that rope down here as hard as you can on every single slam. Really beat the heck out of that floor. Second exercise, you're gonna step in a little bit closer. We're gonna do our seesaw presses with those ropes. So go wide with those arms, and then you're gonna press those arms up as one's pressing, the other one's pulling. So you're just gonna go up and down as quickly as you can. Again, make sure you step in so you have some slack to get that full range of motion here. Nice job there, Karen. From there, we're coming over to station number two. We got Coach T over here, and she's gonna start with our drop squats. So she's gonna kick those feet apart. Make sure to get a nice tall posture top. So straighten all the way up, reach for the floor, switch those arms each time. Push that pace if you can. If you need to take the impact out, of course, you're just gonna step side to side, reaching for the floor, and then coming back up. The second exercise here, we're gonna use our sled, we're gonna do our push, sled push and drag. So grab those handles nice and low so that sled's not tilting on you. Drive that foot in the floor, try to tear up that carpet. You're gonna push it down to the other end. When you get down there, grab that suspension trainer handles, and you're gonna drive back, staying low, driving through the balls of your feet. When you get back down to the other end, you're just gonna push it back wherever you're at when that clock stops, that's where you do your next set of drop squats. Nice job. Yeah. From there, we're coming to station number three. Coach Matt's over here. He's going to be starting on the skier. Think about power, not speed on these. I want hard pulls every single time up to those tippy toes. Reach for that top shelf. Sit that butt back. Pull those handles down. Push that air out here. Second exercise here is going to be our push up. So we're going to go down to the blue floor. And just nice and simple here, push up plank position, squeeze those shoulder blades, push the ground away for you as you drive up. Think about bending that far in half the entire time. If you want, you can go down from your toes, lower those knees, and press up from your knees. Again, down from your toes, up from your knees. You can work from your knees here as well, or just hold that plank when you need to. Nice job, Matt. From there, we're coming over to station number three. Coach Carrie's over here. She's gonna start on the stability ball. We're gonna do stir the pot here. Station number four, station number four. We're gonna stir the pot here. We're gonna go get those forearms and elbows on the ball. Glute squeeze, nice strong plank position. Wide stance with those knees, keep those hips stable. And then work those circles. Start small and then get bigger if you feel like you can here. Keep those elbows pushed away from you the whole time so you're not sinking into this one. If you need to, you can also do this from your knees. You can also just hold that plank on the ball or go down to the floor and hold that plank as well. Second exercise is our dead bug. So you're gonna roll right over, get that ball set up between your thighs and forearms off of your tummy here, and you're gonna reach with that opposite arm and leg. And notice how Carrie's really squeezing that ball between her forearm and her thigh. That's gonna keep those abs engaged. Lower back's pressing to the floor, trying to get as long as she can here, as much distance from that foot to those fingertips as she can. Now, if you need to, you can also just hold that dead bug position here as you're getting tired, or you can do these without the ball on the floor. Okay, that's what the bottom workout for this week. Great job, everybody.